Yo, hello, it's Pavikas from Editing Visuals here, and today I will show you how to make the trippy transition. Let's begin. First, let's create an adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. Now we need to add Deep Glow, keep the settings like that, add S Flicker, make the amplitude 0.4, add Find Edges, press Invert, add Invert, although you might not need to add Invert, I don't know, add Glow. You need to add normal glow right here. Make the glow threshold 38%. Make the glow radius 8. Make the glow intensity 0.7. Add S motion detect. Add S pseudo color. Now add another glow and it has to be just a normal glow. Make the glow threshold 77.6%. Glow radius 39. Glow intensity 0.7. Add CC vignette. Make the angle of view 55.3. Add transform. Make the scale 101. And now we have this little trippy rainbow effect. And what we can actually do right now is just go to the adjustment layer, press on one of the effects and now press control A. And we can go to animation. Save animation preset and call it whatever you want. I recommend Trippy Transition. I already have it saved. If you ever just want to add this effect, you can just make a new adjustment layer and you can go here and type Trippy Transition and add it and you will have the same effect. Now what we can do is add a distortion effect. So we need to press Control alt y put a new adjustment layer below the one that has nothing right now. And let's rename this one, the one that has a Trippy Transition, to just Trippy Transition. And let's go to this one and this one will be Distortion. Alright, and for the distortion you need to add as distort. With as distort you can really mess around a lot with the settings. I personally just keep it like this. The only thing I really like to change is the amount. So if I go to the start and we're like here maybe. Now we can go to the amount right here. We can set it to 0.94. And we can go to another frame. So this is the starting frame. Now we can press U so we can see the amount keyframes. And we can go like to the middle of our first clip. Somewhere like maybe 10 frames forward. It's still the first clip. Now it's in the middle. And here we can keyframe it to zero. We can go to the trippy transition layer and we can press T and it will bring up the opacity. And here we can actually set the opacity to zero. We can move it just a little bit forward from the distortion. We can go to the first frame that we have and we can make it 100% here. We can move it like right here so it lines up and this will have a really cool distortion effect. Go to S distort right here. We select both of these keyframes and we press F9 and let's go to the graph editor right now. Here in the graph editor, we need to take the upper dot, just move it a little bit down and this one to the middle almost, but a little past. This will make it go out very smooth I'm gonna show you more examples. So if you go like right here, you can see it's going to transition right here. So it transitions to a new clip and where it's about to start transitioning. So like 10 frames before it starts to transition. I'm going to go here to the as the store. I'm going to press on this so it keyframes it. And then go exactly to the frame of transitioning. So right here somewhere, just one frame before. And here I'll set it to somewhere like 0.9. Go like somewhere to the middle of the other clip. So almost 10 frames forward. I don't know how long your clip is, but for me it's one clip is usually around one second and I'll edit in 24 frames. So 10 frames is usually like half almost. And here I'll set the S distort to zero. Select these three keyframes and we don't need to press F9 because it's already keyframed. Let's go to the craft editor and here we can extend this a little somewhere here and this one a little bit here. And again, this one you can extend a little here and this one you can extend here. It's a pretty simple graph. You can really mess around. Let's do some more magic by going to our trippy transition layer. And here sometimes you might want to start it a little later than the distortion starts. So we can start somewhere in the middle of the distortion start. So this is where it starts. And this is the middle of the distortion. And we can keep him opacity zero here. And we can go to the point of transitioning. And here we can set the opacity 100%. We can go a couple of frames forward actually. Keyframe it so it's 100% still here. And we can go just a little bit further than the trippy transition where the distortion ends. And here we can make it 0%. This will have a really cool effect. If you want to make a trippy transition that looks even cooler than this one, you can completely turn off the Strippy transition. You can press Control Alt Y and you can add some effects from our Halloween pack from our editing visuals website where we have magnificent editing packs. And from the pack, you can add effects such as Halloween effect one, just add it right here. And you have this insane look. It looks super cool on the transition. Instead of this effect, you can also add plenty more. So another example would be Halloween effect 12. You add it on top of here. Uh, what you can actually do with this one is you can press T and you can go to the opacity. And where we had our trippy transition keyframe, we can just like copy them basically. So opacity was zero here, so we can make it zero here. And then we can keep it like 100 here. Looks really cool here. And you can honestly just keep it 100% here if you want. 
want in the train port or you can turn it to zero back down here we have packs like this in our editing visuals website which can help you elevate your editing game and much more all right i hope this video was useful if you have any questions then let us know make sure to join our discord server if you have any other questions or if you guys want to show us something and all right have a fun and productive day see ya